everyone. So this video is going to be a quick rundown of five fragrances I consider to be sexy. Five sexy summer evening perfumes. These are fragrances that I feel really confident that they are mass appealing. Most people are going to find them attractive and I just feel really confident wearing them. So let's get on with it. The first one is from Guerlain and it's Mon Precious Nectar. This is absolutely stunning. Orange blossom, almond, musk and vanilla. There's supposed to be a little hint of incense in there. I don't really pick it out, but it might just be adding a little bit to the powderiness. It gets a little bit powdery. This is a beautiful fragrance. I have received compliments wearing it. I have it in an atomizer and I feel the atomizer from this gorgeous bottle. Now this of course is an expensive one. It's the high end at Galan, one of the exclusives. It's from the Les Parisiennes line, but I think it's worth it. It's very long lasting. It's not a massive projector. Some people call it a skin scent. I don't get that. I get a nice projection from it. Not too much, not too little, just perfect. And it's such an alluring scent that it would invite people to get in a little bit closer. My next one is Jean-Paul Gaultier, Scandal Apéry, AKA, let's all say it, one, two, three, legs akimbo. <laughs> There's our lady with her legs akimbo, legs in the air. So Scandal Apéry is actually an eau de toilette, but it performs as good as most average eau de parfums on my skin anyway. But more importantly, how does it smell? It is a gorgeous fragrance. I cannot imagine anyone not finding that attractive. It just has this likability factor. So there's a honey aspect to it, but it's not like a full on honey. Sometimes honey can go a little bit pissy. It certainly does not here. I feel like the honey is, is kind of low key in here, more low key than in the original Scandal. I think I'm gonna wear this one tonight on my arms. So let's go. I like to wear a lot, but let's do the other arm as well. And yeah, so there's honey, there's jasmine, and I think there's vanilla, I'm not sure. But it's, it's a kind of honeyed floral. It feels like there's orange blossom in here as well, although it's not officially listed. I get that kind of orangey white floral feel, like you get in Classique, the original John Paul Gaultier Lady. It's kind of got something of that in it, but this is more fun, I think. This is more modern. It's got a freshness to it. There is a pear note in here. So when you first smell it, you get this kind of green, fresh pear, along with these honeyed florals, and it's just absolutely alluring, but it lasts really well on the skin. It's a perfect summer night out the scent if you like stuff to be a little bit sweet. In actual fact, all of these fragrances are a little bit sweet. So you might not want them on the hottest and stickiest of nights, but here in the UK, you would be fine with them. My next one is from 4,160 Tuesdays, and it's called Centerpiece, and this is the Parfum, but I recommend the Parfum or the Eau de Parfum they're not differing too much. And in terms of performance, I'm absolutely satisfied with the Eau de Parfum. I just happen to have the Parfum. And Centerpiece is a frangipani fragrance. It's frangipani and honey. It's, it's got some green tea, which I think lends it a little bit of freshness. I don't really pick up on it though, but it does have this sort of fresh edge to it. It's still rich though. The honey in here is kind of like the honey in John Paul Gaultier in that it's not thick and unctuous and it certainly doesn't go anywhere we like or anywhere animalic. 
it just it's almost like it just gently glazes all the other ingredients with honey i think there's a hint of chocolate in here there's certainly a feeling of vanilla it's very sexy in a sweet but sophisticated way frangipani is such a beautiful flower it's a, an exotic flower that is kind of like your jasmines and your orange blossoms but it's just maybe a touch sweeter there's something that sets it apart that i don't know why but i really love the way it smells maybe i just can't quite describe it but it is a beautiful floral an exotic heady floral but combined in here with some gourmand elements like vanilla and honey and it's very very sexy and alluring and draws people in my next one is sp parfums powder and dust this one i recommend spraying at least half an hour before you leave the house because some people find the top notes slightly strange i'm going to spray it in the air the sprayers on these are absolutely amazing so when you first spray it it's it's definitely got pear so it's like a condensed pear drop note to me like you took a big let's imagine you've got a big bucket of pear drops are hard candies that are shaped like little pears are about this big if you eat too many your mouth is become sore and you could even lose the top layer of skin not that that's ever happened to me <laughs> it's so imagine you've got a big bucket of pear drops and then you melt them gently melt them all down over the heat and then like they if they kind of condense they get richer that's what I get here but there is a mimosa note which can bring a little bit of it. it's a yellow floral and it's a little bit powdery there's a note of champagne I wouldn't say it smells sparkly exactly or fizzy though it's to me it's, it's almost like if if you smell champagne but the, the fizz is already gone from it and there's to me a little hint of pepper the magic really happens once it's dried down a little bit there's quite a big heavy dose of vanilla in here which comes through and i think there's nothing more alluring and sexy than vanilla almost everyone loves vanilla and as much as people say sometimes they'll say vanilla is as a term in that it's kind of like dull something is vanilla it's like not that exciting it's nice but it's not all that but i think vanilla i love vanilla and i think most people really enjoy the scent of vanilla and there's a good amount in here it's a really beautiful long lasting fragrance i love wearing it on a night out because it lasts me the whole night long and i wake up and i still can smell it it's extract to parfum so it's uh, very concentrated and it really does behave in that way it's an excellent performer powder and dust so good so good once we finish doing these i've got to choose my main fragrance for here and I, i'm still not sure so my last one then is la belle jean paul gaultier la belle you've heard enough about this now you're probably bored of hearing about it but it just is the perfect summer night fragrance because it's rich and sexy it's it's just so addictive so when you first spray i don't know whether to spray this one or powder and dust i feel like i've sprayed i've worn this a lot lately so I'm go, i think i'm gonna go powder and dust but this one has a really a voluptuous rich sweet pear it's almost like the pear has been add has added sugar it's been uh stewing it's been stewing for a while and it's got loads of sugar in it so it's really sweet when you first spray it and then what happens is you get kind of like a woody sugary sweet vanilla dry down and i'm pretty certain there's a, quite a big dose of ambroxin in here which you smell almost straight away and all the way through and that just adds this 
addictive quality to it, which you can't beat really. Everybody loves this. Everyone loves this. I've had compliments wearing this one. Every time I smell it, I want to wear it. It's just absolutely addictive. But again, it's quite sweet and you wouldn't want to wear it on a really sticky night out in the Caribbean or the tropics anywhere. It might be too sticky, but summer evenings here in the UK, perfection. Perfection. So let's choose then. I think I'm going to go with powder and dust for my evening scent. So you see how that sprays. You can control it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yes. See, it's instantly peppery and sweet. And it's got this spark. I guess it is. I said it was like flat champagne, but I can see it's got a spark, but it's not exactly to me like champagne bubbles. It's more on a on a peppery, but it's sweet but peppery. Oh, it's so it's so good. It's so good. So that's powder and dust. I think all five of these fragrances are really, really sexy and perfect for summer nights out. That's it then. Thank you so much for watching. And please like, and if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. I would appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.